a regular viewer of our channel, and by the way, thank you for that, you'll know that we've previewed the Stargazer X before many a times. In fact, I was even out of the country to go to its launch and then to announce that it was coming to the Philippines and now it's obviously here. But what I'm trying to get at is forgive us because we don't exactly have a behind the wheel on the Stargazer X just yet, but we will very, very soon. On this particular drive, however, that we took with Hyundai, it was to get to know the Stargazer a little bit better and to find out exactly what the differences are between the Stargazer X and that guy over there which is the Stargazer Premium. We'll get to the changes, the differences between this Stargazer X and that guy over there, the Stargazer Premium. And of course, more importantly, the price. Mechanically, it is the same. It's still a 1.5 liter gasoline engine. That's a four cylinder, obviously, that produces uh, 113 horses and 144 newton meters of torque mated to an IVT. Now, this time around, we were able to get better figures in terms of economy because we were able to test the car with five people inside, not just Jack and I. And we were able to get roughly about 15, 15 and a half kilometers per liter. That's mixed city and highway driving all the way here to Clark. But, the question still remains, what makes the Stargazer X an X? Well, on the hood, you've got it, this elevated area here in the center, adds a little bit more character to the X, so does the change on the bumper and the grill. It's very different from the premium over there, as you can see. These are the main changes up front. Again, most everything else is the same, like the lights up on top and here on the side. If you move down the side, however, one of the biggest changes will be the wheels. They are now 17s, while previously they were 16s and it's also a different pattern and then the next biggest thing is the ride height of the automobile now the premium variant sits at 185 millimeters of ground clearance you've got more ground clearance in this at 200 millimeters of ground clearance to put that in perspective this rides more like a creta it more it's got more ground clearance than even the tucson in this car now that will give you a lot more confidence in going off the beaten path. I'm not saying go to the mountains and take it four by four ruggeding. No, no, nothing like that. But really a lot more ground clearance gives you a lot more confidence. As to the rear bumper, if you check it out, it's more robust. It's got a lot more character. Now these are the design elements outside of the Stargazer X that really makes it the X while everything else is pretty much the same as that you would find in the premium, which is to say that the rear cargo hold isn't much, but if you fold everything, you're looking at over 1,800 liters of space. I'm sure we've done the walk around the Stargazer X before, or the premium and the space is the same. I'm sure that we'll put the link somewhere down below. Now, while there isn't a lot of changes mechanically to the car, there are one or two pretty large bits inside that I wanna show you, which really adds to its more character. Okay, so some of the key changes inside the vehicle. The seats are exactly the same, except for the flavor that they've decided to add to the leather. There is now red stitching and piping that can be found on the chairs. I think it's subtle and adds just the right amount of spice, kind of like kimchi, so to speak. Hey, Korean car, Korean food. Um, it's not overdone like in other cars. We won't make mention, but they tend to kind of go overboard here, I think, it's a nice way of putting just the right amount of color. Other changes include that there is no longer a manual parking brake. It is now an electronic parking brake. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but this might be, might be, the only time that Jack and I are kind of appreciating piano black. Jack, let's not do this again. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Because on the premium version, this panel right here for the infotainment and just above the um, instrument cluster, it's a little bit on the plain side. I don't want to use the word drab, but it's a little bit plain and it doesn't do much for the driver. And plus there's a small little lip here up on top. Here, it's a little bit more low profile. It's flatter and it seems to not make the entire system stand out too much because the other color was a contrast to the dashboard. So that's why in the premium, it kind of stands out here. Okay, let's put it at this. Jack and I figured that if not piano black, maybe matte black. 
which is we're safe there. We still don't like piano black, right? <laughs> uh, but don't worry, all the goodies that you loved inside the Stargazer Premium is still the same in the Stargazer X, which is you've got your small little cubby hole here, which I just absolutely adore, and air controls that you can get to immediately. Plus, wireless charging can be found right there. So those are the main changes in from the differences rather from the premium and the Stargazer X. The biggest thing obviously would be the increase in ground clearance. And now the price. Whip out the AutoDeal app and it will tell you, yep, that the premium, the one in the back, comes in at 1,288,000 Philippine pesos, while the Stargazer X comes in at 1,348,000 Philippine pesos. Now, that is a price difference of 60,000 pesos. In your head, you're probably thinking 60 grand for basically uh, Lego stuff that's been slapped onto the car. No, not exactly. This just it wasn't slapped on. It's a new hood altogether. It's a new front bumper. It's a new rear bumper. The wheels alone are an inch bigger. And then there's the fact that you've got 15 millimeters of ground clearance more than the premium variant. That 15 millimeters may not sound like much, but when you're taking your family, your friends, and whatnot out of the city, that 15 millimeters could spell the difference of a good time and a really crappy time. Think of it this way. The previous top of the line was the premium variant. Now, the top of the line is the Stargazer X. With a bit of a bump in price, it's also an elevated ride and drive and experience altogether, literally and figuratively. Oh, and also not to say anything, but an electronic parking brake, that just smells expensive. Before I let you go, please like and subscribe our channel because you do not want to miss out the next time we take the Stargazer X out because our intention is to put it up in a Comparo. The question is, who are we going to compare it against? We would like your opinions who you think we should compare it up against. What do you think? That should be quite interesting. Let us know in the comments below.